guys, I'm really glad to welcome all of you to today's video, which is going to be about a brand new limited collection from Jo Malone that is called Blossoms 2019. And there are four fragrances in that collection and I have only three, but not because I don't like the fourth one, but because we simply didn't get it uh, in our Jomalon's uh, counter in Frankfurt's Douglas store. And it is pretty typical for Jomalon not to provide us with a full collection. I don't know why they don't want their customers uh, to have an ability to purchase the whole collection and I was really interested in that orange blossom cologne in beautiful orange pastel bottle but what can we do? Jo Malone decided not to give me a chance to try it and there are four fragrances one of them is orange blossom cologne that I um, couldn't smell and buy and two other ones are also some limited fragrances from the past one of them is Star Magnolia Cologne in beautiful pastel green bottle and uh, another one is Silk Blossom Cologne in beautiful vivid uh, pink bottle but they have um, a new addition which is a Frangipani flower cologne and it has yellow bottle and I like that uh, colors of uh, the bottles, uh, they match uh, the way perfume smells, so color matches the scent and that's amazing. That was very smart and uh, I mainly bought these perfumes because of the packaging and great discount, so I bought three for the price of two. And that was very appropriate because I wanted to review them for you guys. So these are very limited perfumes and if you're interested in them, I would say go to your local Jo Malone's um, store and try them out. So with that being said, let's get started with Frangipani Flower because, you know, this is the new one and most exciting one because it is about Frangipani Flower and that is an exotic and tropical floral note and I have uh, tried out some um, Frangipani dominant fragrances. One of them I remember is from Armani and there is also another one that um, came out recently and I actually tried them out side by side and I need to tell you that Armani's one was the sweetest. This one was um, very dusty, very, very dusty. I couldn't actually handle it on my skin. And uh, Frangipani Flower by Jo Malone is actually a very airy and luminous fragrance. And it starts quite fresh, so you expect something citrusy, but then develops as a floral one. And the note of uh, sunny Frangipani Flower becomes quite dominant. And jasmine is super noticeable too and in the dry down we have creamy sandalwood and uh, bounce wing so the dry down is quite sweet and dusty and um, I find it's very interesting that uh, one of the top notes is um, solar note and it does smell of sunshine and it actually reminds me of uh, taking a shower after a long day spent uh, on the beach in the heat and it just makes me feel like I am taking a shower with a citrusy shower gel and washing off all the scent of my hair and body. That is that feeling that I have when I wear Frangipani flower and um, it also smells quite floral too. That's where I imagine some overheated, burnt flowers because of uh, aggressive sun. And I like that the opening is quite luminous and fresh and then to floral and then to sweet. So this fragrance is very nice, especially for the summertime. But the only problem that I have with it is its uh, performance. It is a very soft fragrance. It stays super close to my skin and I have cold skin. So all fragrances last on me quite long, even though they can be be quite subtle and this is just so soft and uh, barely noticeable. It lasts uh, for a few hours but it has no projection which is quite disappointing so maybe when it is hot and I have hot skin it can uh, evaporate quicker and I can smell it uh, 
more intense and my boyfriend likes it too so I would say it is unisex leaning towards feminine side because of flowers and uh, Swedish dry down and it is a great perfume for the summertime especially if you want that solar feeling maybe you can buy it and then wear it uh, when it is uh, cold so you have a feeling of a summer and now let's move on to my favorite one actually which is silk blossom and i really like the way it looks but also the way it smells because on the one hand it is quite mass appealing it is very pleasant it is almost addictive but on the other hand it smells very luxurious and i like that the opening is peppery and even though i'm not the biggest fan of spicy pepper in here just calm down by bergamot and uh, apricots and apricots in here are super cool because they are ripe and uh, for me taste and scent of apricots um reminds me of uh, the summertime and so it does in here it is quite juicy and with that bergamot and pepper this is just a very very characterful opening and i really like that and then in the heart we have jasmine which is not uh, too overwhelming i like that we have rose which i really can't detect it is a sheer and very delicate very very fresh rose that is not right into your face but it is there and then we have silk flower in the heart and it makes uh, this perfume quite silky. It has silky texture. Frangipani flower has dusty texture when I think about textures and this one has silky texture and I find that uh, base notes are super cool because we have oak moss and heliotrope. Oak moss is quite mossy, right? And heliotrope is powdery and I find that uh, the dry down of silk blossom is powdery in a woodsy way which is super new for me so i really like that spicy juicy opening and floral silky development and uh, woodsy powdery dry down and i find that this is a very elegant summery fresh perfume perfect for dates or even work uh, and just casual every day wear and uh, it is uh, a gorgeous glorious unisex fragrance which is my favorite and I really really like it and uh, finally we have star magnolia cologne and uh, for me this is the most average one out of them because it smells super duper simple it is about uh, clean and very very light citruses with uh, something woodsy mixed into that and uh, I thought that notes in here are very intriguing because we have shiso leaf, ginger, neroli and I love those notes especially neroli so I expected this perfume being more bright and it is just so simple and citrusy it reminds me of a shower gel and even though it is pleasant and nice it is a very, 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 very fleeting. It is super weak in the projection and longevity. I can barely detect it on my skin and I can smell even natural and very light perfumes on me. So I don't know what that is, but uh, Star Magnolia does not really do anything to me. It's just like the scent of magnolias. It is very, very subtle. It is not really creamy or floral. It is more citrusy. So maybe if you want something very gentle, something that is barely there, something that just makes your skin feel uh, energized and refreshed and something ultra ultra light then maybe star magnolia is for you and in my opinion it is the most uh, unisex one out of all of these three ones that i have once again don't have orange blossom let me know what do you think about that one if you had a chance to try it out and if you tried out uh, this whole collection let me know what's your favorite and let me know do you like frangipani flower and its scent. If so, I can actually do a video about some Frangipani perfumes and even Magnolia perfume. Silk Blossom is the most unique blossom for me personal, but if you have any other perfumes on your mind uh, that feature this uh, note, then let me know that in the comments and I would love to hear from you guys what do you think about Jo Malone's perfumes in general. If you would like to see me talking about some limited 
fragrances from this brand check out the description box below where I will leave all the relevant links and uh, don't forget to leave me a comment do you like Jo Malone do you like this collection does it sound interesting to you which of these three um, appeals to you the most and why and uh, you know don't be shy comment below you know we need to start a conversation and chat because you know I want us to exchange energy and fragrance love and um, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if so please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and to sum up I would say that all fragrances from this collection are very inoffensive work and uh, school appropriate for example today I wore them to the university and I couldn't really smell them but I felt to myself really good because I think they create just a very nice summery mood and uh, that's why I highly recommend just to try them out and maybe you like one or another and that completes this video thank you so much for watching please like it and subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment stay tuned smell good and we'll see you next and really soon, bye guys.